she has a scratch on her arm. It wasn't there last night, and it's red and swollen. All right, well, let's take a look at it. Trauma one is free. Okay. Will you wait? Yeah, I'll be right here. everything okay? Yeah, uh, Carly brought Joss in. She had a, looks like a little infection, I don't know, maybe from a bug bite or something. She wanted a doctor to take a look at it. Just in case. Seems okay, except for the, the mark on her arm, but Carly was, was worried. So she called you? Uh, I was already at the house. Oh, well, this is nice. You were able to bring her here. She's really lucky. She has you to support her. Yeah, it just kind of worked out. You seemed really worried. Is it just Jocelyn, or, or is there something else going on? Sam and I are getting a divorce. I'm sorry you and Sam couldn't find a way to make things work. Holding on was just hurting the both of us. Does she still blame you for what happened to the baby? Yeah, I, I can't, I can't change what happened. You know, at least the divorce is a kind of closure, and uh, Sam will be free. Do you think that's what she really wants? Uh, I don't know. Some other things got in the way. Uh, other people. Hey, hey, we need a little help here. Did you call us in? We spoke to dispatch and Drew. She was unconscious at the scene. Pulse was steady, respiration normal, but her temperature's elevated. So, what brings you down here? I came in with Carly. She was worried about her daughter. Jocelyn has some kind of red mark on her arm. The red mark? Yeah, yeah, kind of like a, a bug bite. Why? Alexis has this odd little red mark on her arm, too. You got any idea where the little girl got the red mark? You got this... This bug bite? Well, her mother said that she was uh, sleepwalking outside last night. You don't sound convinced. Well, it's a big house. Jocelyn's room's on the second floor. Seems kind of strange that she would go all the way downstairs and then outside. Yeah. Hey, uh, how, how's Jocelyn? We're running some tests. She had some kind of bite or bump on her arm. Okay, you should know that Alexis Davis was just brought in with the same red mark on her arm. My mom is in and out of consciousness. They're running a bunch of tests trying to figure out why she passed out twice in the past 24 hours. What's twice? She passed out last night while she was at Windermere. What, what was she doing out there? Well, apparently the security company called and said the alarm was tripped and they wanted to have her make sure nothing was taken. What's Windermere? It's a house my family owns out on Spoon. Jason can tell you nothing good ever happens at Windermere. Um, did the house, um, have been broken into? My mother didn't see any signs of a break-in. Okay. Did the security company send someone out to check it out, or did they call the cops? No, there must have been some sort of a mix-up, because my mom said when she went out to do the run-through, nobody showed up. Were you with Alexis when the call came in? No, she was on her way to the office, but she didn't seem overly concerned. So, Alexis went to Windermere the security company called they never showed up and what she just she fainted I, I don't she said that she got dizzy and she thinks she may have laid down for a minute she thinks she doesn't actually remember no which i was worried about and i thought it was weird and i tried to kind of push on it and she blew it off and i probably should have pushed harder you have the name of that security company harbor view security i think it's listed why if you don't mind i might just check it out yeah of course Where's mom? Hey, um, she's with the doctors. They're running some tests. I know she's gonna want to see you, but you gotta stay calm, okay? Hey, your mom will be glad to see you. Oh, mom. Well, why did something happen? Okay. Thank you. What'd they say? They have a computerized call log. They record every event. There was no alarm trips. So the security company never called Alexis? No. Someone did. Which means she was lured to Windermere. So, 
Any idea who would want to get Alexis to Spoon Island? No, not a clue. Oh, she works for Sonny. Has there been any trouble at the office lately? Sonny's associates wouldn't target Alexis. She's strictly a defense attorney. No privileged information? No, none. How about family? Family. Cassidines. Uh, Nicholas Cassidine, I think he's living in Europe somewhere. And there's Helena. But I don't see why she would knock Alexis out and leave her lying on the couch. Okay. What about the mark on Alexis's arm, right? You said the little girl had one, too. So what do Jocelyn and Alexis have in common? Is there a connection? Hey, excuse me. Um, Elizabeth, isn't it? Yes. I'm, I'm John McBain. Would you do me a favor when Sam comes out? Would you tell her I had to leave for a little bit? I had to take care of something? Do you even know how to get to Windermere? No. You got a boat? No, but I'm sure I can find a boat. Oh, no, I got a boat docked at the warehouse. Why so cooperative all of a sudden? Because I don't buy that Jocelyn just wandered out of her house last night the same time Alexis was lured to Windermere. So what are we waiting for? 